Objective problem number 5 of ISI BSTAT and BMATH entrance 2014. So this problem is uh, asking us to evaluate the integral tan inverse x over x dx within the limit 1 over 2014 to 2040. So this is a problem of definite integral. Let us first try to understand what is, uh, what is the meaning of finding definite integral of a particular function. So let's say if we are given to find out integral of the function fx with respect to x within the limit a to b, that means finding gb minus ga where gx is such a function such that if you differentiate gx, you will get back the function fx. So integration is sort of a reverse process of uh, of, of uh, differentiating functions now the geometrical interpretation of definite integral is let's say if we are given out given a function fx so integrating it within the limit x equal to a and x equal to b means finding its area bounded by the curves x equal to a which is a straight line x equal to b another straight line the curve itself y equal to fx and the x-axis y equal to 0. So finding out area of this red region would be the geometrical meaning of the uh, definite integral. So now let us move on to our given problem. Before we start our, before we start our problem, uh, we need to apply some tricks to the given, uh, to the given function. So the given function is tan inverse x over x. Now let us start with tan inverse x and let's take that as some variable z. So this would imply x is equal to tan z and that implies 1 over x is equal to cot z which implies 1 by x is equal to tan pi by 2 minus z which means tan inverse of 1 by x is equal to pi by 2 minus z where z was nothing but tan inverse x. So tan inverse x becomes pi by 2 minus tan inverse 1 by x. So our function tan inverse x over x is nothing but pi by 2 pi by 2x minus tan inverse 1 by x over x. So now let us start by this manipulation. So we want to integrate from a to b tan inverse x over x with respect to x where a I am considering as the lower limit which is given as 1 over 2014 and b I am considering it as 2014. So this would imply integration a to b pi by 2x minus tan inverse 1 by x by x dx. Now first of all let's take our original integration as i. So i means this integration as well. Now from here we can break the integration in two parts. It would look like a to b, pi by 2 is a constant, so that can come out 1 by x dx minus a to b tan inverse 1 by x by x dx. Now, integrating the first part, this is the first part, is very easy, but we have to think about the second part. So let's quickly integrate the first part. First part gives us pi by 2 integration of 1 over x is just log x. So if we put the limits, it will be log b minus log a. We will uh, replace the substitute the value of a and b later. Now we will integrate the second part of the integral. So second part was a to b 
tan inverse 1 by x over x dx. We will make the substitution 1 by x is equal to some t and that would imply x is equal to 1 by t. Now if we differentiate we will get dx is equal to minus 1 by t square dt. But when we will make the substitution instead of x when the variable will be t the limits will also change because for x when the limit is a for t so what is a basically a is 1 over 2014 as x is equal to 1 over t then when x is 1 over 2014 t is going to be 2014 and when x is 2014 t is going to be 1 over 2014 so the limit will just switch between them so the integration will now be from b to a and then we will make the substitutions here so we will get tan inverse of t times minus 1 by t square dt this is because of dx we are getting it and then we had um, x there so that would be 1 by t now if we do a little bit of simplification we will get minus b to a tan inverse of t over t dt because this t and t square will uh, cancel one uh, one of the t's and this t will come in the denominator now there is a property that minus m to n fx dx is same as n to m fx dx. So using this property we can say this is from a to b again this negative sign will go away and we will get tan inverse t over t dt. Now this is nothing but this is exactly same as our original integration original integral i. So if we go back to our original integration i again so i was equal to the first part minus the second part. So that would be equal to first part we found out we evaluated it as pi over 2 log b minus log a and second part we found out to be just i so we are getting minus i here so basically i is equal to pi over 2 log b minus log a minus i so if we add i to to both side of this equation so what we will get 2i is equal to pi by 2 log b is nothing but 2000 14 minus log 1 by 2014. So now i will be equal to pi over 4 log 2014 minus log 1 minus log 2014. So we will get pi over 4. So we'll get pi over 4 log of 2014 plus log of 2014 because log 1 is 0 and it, this will just go away. So the final answer is pi over 2 log 2014.